Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Lava Craft Season 2, Episode 3. And today, it is here. 1.19! That's right, and today we have a special mission. I heard that there is a new wood type in Minecraft, and I'm super excited. It's been a long time since we've gotten a new wood type that isn't from the nether and is super scary and hard to go collect. Although, I don't know anything about this update, to be quite honest with you. I know there's two new biomes, and I know there's a new wood type, and uh, that's about it. So, uh, we we have crafted up uh, an axe for ourselves and we need to go collect a few other resources uh, in preparation for our huge travel because I'm assuming we're gonna have to go uh, like tens of thousands of blocks away to find this and maybe there's a close one but I don't really want to cheat so I want to find it naturally and that could take a very long time um, so buckle in but uh, we're gonna get a few things that we need um, by the way we made this little um, storage area like it's not super exciting um, but uh, we've been using it uh, eventually it's probably gonna be the um, like storage area for our base at least the manual version of one maybe we'll add an auto sorter I don't know but we have a ton of blocks as you can see that we've been uh, you know needing a place to put so uh, we're gonna head out into the wilderness and uh, I think I know which way we're gonna head we're gonna go in that direction the way we're headed right now and uh, hopefully be able to find uh, one of those mangrove swamp biomes should be exciting I'm sure it's quite different from the normal Normal swamp biomes and I don't even know if that's really what it's called maybe we'll find some frogs maybe we'll uh, find some trees hopefully that's what we're we're uh, after today is some new blocks to build with how fun I always love getting new blocks it's super super exciting and uh, just the potential for new builds and build styles and all sorts of super cool crazy things you can do with them um, so let's go find out what this new biome has to offer and we're gonna head well, we're gonna bypass that gonna close that door don't want any zombies breaking in while we're away um, but but goodbye base we'll see you later and uh, hopefully we can bring them all the way back without dying should be should be easy we'll see okay we are off everyone on our grand adventure to the mangrove swamp we'll see uh, what we can find on the way there we don't really want to fill up our inventories but I really can't help myself if we see some ruined nether portals and temples and ruins and all sorts of crazy things so uh, it's time to head out I think we're gonna be doing a lot of sailing today well, like I said, can't help ourselves. We're going to dive in and check out this nether portal, underwater nether portal. Thank goodness for Depth Strider. Uh, we really need Aqua Affinity, though. I miss it so much. Uh, but unfortunately, we haven't had uh, of any luck with the villagers in that department. But that's a problem for another day. And uh, today, we're not really going to be underwater too much. Unless the mangrove swamp is an underwater biome. I don't think so. I know there's probably water in it because it's a swamp. But uh, I guess we'll see. Ow, ow, ow. Um, I haven't we haven't we didn't see a chest there that's a bummer that was a waste of time all right well we're gonna continue on our journey uh, I think this is a rather large ocean though uh, so bear with me while we you know get our, our sea legs about us and uh, finish get ooh sea temple gotta be careful we're gonna stay around that so we don't get mining fatigue all right night has fallen and we are stuck out on the open sea but we did find another uh another portal maybe we can find a chest in this one and well, let's get this gold too while we're at it you remember when i said not fill up our inventory yeah we're not doing such a great job of that so far but hey gold's awesome right <laughs> and we don't have a gold farm oh nothing good in there go 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 get up to the surface stupid bubble columns drawing us down at least I didn't sink our boat I guess all right we're gonna hop back in and not die because we're not even in out of the ocean and if we die in the middle of the ocean I don't know where we're at so we're gonna eat and then hopefully find some dry land so we can go to sleep for the night all right let me check one more time see if there's anything good 
Land ho! Finally, we have found some dry land that we can hopefully go to sleep for the night. And it looks like we even got a boat here. So let's make sure there's nothing creeping around on this island, except for this turtle. Super cute turtles. We don't have to worry about them. This would be a fun little... Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Uh, always, always creeping. We have a pretty good shot, though, this time. All right, well, uh, we're going to get rid of this guy and hopefully go to sleep for the night and then explore this. Oh, there he is. Get out of here. Thank you. We'll take that gunpowder. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to go to sleep for the night and then check out this boat, see if there's anything cool. All right. Good morning. Hi, turtle. Good morning. Uh, let's see what's in this boat. Probably something good. If we can get a buried treasure map, that would be awesome. If we could take home some Heart of the Seas, or one even, would be nice. Um, come on. Oh, that, that was weird. A little bit of lag there. And we got a buried treasure map! Heck yeah. All right. Well, if it's somewhere close, we'll definitely swing by. Anything? Anything? No, we have moss at home. We don't need that. We'll take the gunpowder. Why not? Definitely don't need any wheat or carrots, really. Um, yeah, ooh, suspicious stew. Nah, we'll leave, we'll leave it, and we'll leave some junk in there, too. Uh, but yeah, it's time to head back up and uh, continue on our journey. I wonder if this map is gonna be anywhere near us. Let's see, uh, maybe doesn't look like it. Well, if uh, we'll keep it in our offhand, and if we see it start to render in at all, I guess we'll stop by and, and uh, you know, uh, check it out, see what we can find. Hey, look at that. It's starting to render in a little bit. We might get lucky here. I really like that they added this buried treasure feature. It's super, super cool. It's not new, so that's a thing. But we didn't really make use of any like underwater stuff in the last season. It might be fun to do that this season. And uh, hey, maybe while we're traveling, we'll find a super cool spot uh, to do that. But I think I see some cool stuff on this little island here, and we might be getting pretty close. Ooh, that's got to be a village over there. I see torches. There's never torches in the wilderness. It's probably villagers. They're always creeping around everywhere. Um, but yeah, we're going to check that out, maybe steal a bell or two, and if we see anything else cool or can find this buried treasure, that'd be awesome. Um, if but don't worry, we're, we're still looking for the mangrove swamp, I promise. We're just getting uh, mega distracted. Uh, at some point, though, we're going to have to focus up and just keep moving and moving and moving. Dang, nothing good. We don't really need golden tools. They're basically useless. Well, 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 look at this. We found our goal. Our, uh, the red X marks the spot, right? Um, normally we're pretty fast at finding these. I remember when we were on bedrock, it took like forever to find these chests, but uh, hopefully we will, there it is. Yep, we got it. Heck yeah. Look at this bounty and some potions, heart of the sea. I think there's always a heart of the sea, usually some diamonds. We'll take those potions, we'll take that TNT, and eventually probably have to throw it all out of our inventory so that we can collect stuff from this, uh, this swamp. But hey, that was a decent distraction. What happened here? Huh, well, that's a super cool mountain. Ooh, I like it. We're gonna go explore it. Well, not too much going on here. It's super cool cave. I like this mountain range and there's a nice little valley too. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of like exposed ores and stuff. However, we're not here for ores. We're here for mangrove trees, even though, um, you know, our inventory is filling up really quickly like way too quickly, whatever. Uh, but hey, we, uh, we found some cool stuff. Oh, can't make that jump. We might die. We got feather falling, but still might die. Oh uh, yeah, it's it, we're gonna quit getting distracted now and start making some progress because we're not that far from home. Well, we found a swamp. I'm pretty sure like the mangrove thing is a swamp, but I don't know what it looks like. I'm pretty sure this is just a normal swamp though. I guess we'll take a look at it though and see if anything's changed. Maybe there's frogs here now. I don't know. Um, yeah. I would say leave a comment and let me know what they look like. However, it's a little too late for that since we're going to find one today. I swear we're going to do it. Um, yeah, this looks like a normal old swamp. I don't know. It looks pretty pretty similar. Yeah, I didn't see anything in here. Looks like a normal swamp. Um, we're going to have to go to sleep soon. 
Mm, I didn't forget my bed yet. That's good. We're doing good, everyone. Uh, it, it, it's getting spooky. Yeah, I guess the mangrove swamp probably looks different. I guess that makes sense since, uh, you know, it's a new update, new biome and everything. Um, hi, sheep. Hi. We're not. We're going to leave them alone today. Lucky. You're a lucky sheep. We need our inventory space. Um, but yeah, uh, no major issues on our journey so far. Um, and I guess uh, maybe we're getting close. Who knows? Maybe it could be five more hours. It could be five more minutes. Well, we've been sailing for a while. And we found a mushroom island. Yeah. I remember when I first started the game, it was probably a couple weeks, maybe a month into playing in my very first world on creative. I found one of these things. And I saw those cows, those mushroom cows, and I thought I broke the game. I was like, this is super, super rare. And I mean, I guess it's rare. It's still rare, but like, at the time, I had no idea about anything, and I just started playing it, and I was like, this is weird. This isn't real. This isn't a real thing. But hey, um, it turns out it was. And they're, they're super cool, and they're super cute cows. But uh, this looks like a giant mushroom island. This is awesome. We put a base here. I always say we're gonna make a base on a mushroom island, but we never do. They're super fun and like lots of farms are really good here because there's no mob spawning, so you don't have to worry about like them breaking all your stuff and endermen stealing all your dirt blocks and stuff like that. Um, but you can't make mob farms here, I don't think. Uh, I don't know if that applies to like underground. It might be a cool place to mine, although all their caves are probably waterlogged because we're on an island. But hey. It's still pretty cool, and we can have all our cow friends, and maybe like a passive mob farm. I don't know. Not sure. Not sure how that works. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty sweet, and maybe we'll maybe we will make a base here. We're pretty far from home though. Is that a normal tree? Why is there a normal tree here? That's not regular. Oh, it's probably one of those like lush cave indicator trees with like the azalea azalea trees. I don't know. Maybe they should have made an azalea tree block. That would have been fun. Well, uh, uh, we're not going to explore that right now. Uh, as much as I'd like to, that will fill up our inventory super quickly. So we're going to move on, and maybe the next time uh, I, I come back, we'll be at the mangrove swamp. Maybe? Maybe? Well, no. We didn't find the mangrove swamp. But, you guys, this area of the map is amazing. I've been sailing around a little bit, getting a little bit distracted. It hasn't taken a ton of time, but we found a whole chain of mushroom islands, and I think we should save these coordinates. Um, so uh, this would be a super, super cool place for some kind of like uh, underwater base, and I'll show you where in just a second. Uh, we'll take a screenshot so we can come back here. Remind me. Remind me about this in the comments down below, or else we will forget. So there we go. There we go. Haven't played in a little while, so forgot how to do screenshots. Well, bear with me as we uh, explore this. Uh, there is uh, something super, super cool. So we have like two ocean monuments right there, which is awesome. But uh, if you keep going past this island, there's some even cooler stuff, honestly. But don't forget our boat. We need to make those red boats, uh, the new mangrove tree. I'm pretty sure it's like a red, a redwood type. I hope it's not too close to the, the crimson uh, tree variant in the nether um, but yeah some more cows big old mushroom island super cool uh, but we've seen these before um, yeah but look at that another one and a third one and there's the fourth one that's way back there and I want to make an underwater base here in between all three of them and then put like some kind of like a guardian farm there and I just think that would be super cool like a big underwater structure base type thing with in between three mushroom islands i don't know it just seems super awesome to me let me know what you think and if you like it don't let me forget please well 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 it's taken way longer than i thought it's been like an hour since the last uh clip and we found one we found a tiny little mangrove swamp or whatever it's called not really sure that's mud hmm interesting cool color i really like it do we shovel it oh yeah we shovel it and it makes a really weird sound weird all right well um yeah i'm not sure i don't see like the base of the trees coming down i guess that makes sense for a mangrove 
trees. I kind of know a little bit about real ones. Um, I know they have like these huge long roots, but yeah, we're gonna fill up our inventory with some mud. That's a weird thing to say, and that's a different block. What is that? Hmm. Muddy mangrove roots. Huh. That's a cool color too. That might be fun. That might be a harder one to um, to get to to like harvest. I don't know. I don't know if we can like re recreate that. There might be like a recipe for it. I'm not gonna look any of this up though until after this episode and we know more about it. Um, yeah, we we messed up, y'all. Huh? You don't shear those. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what tool you use on those then, um, if any yet. Sometimes they uh, take a little while to do like a preferred tool to break things. Um, like maybe a hoe. We didn't bring a hoe. That was silly. Um, maybe an axe. I don't know. Maybe. And we haven't even uh, gotten to the wood type yet. It's probably in here somewhere though. Um, maybe it's up top. Well, this is a tiny little biome. I don't know if that's normal for these, um, but uh, we had to make a chest because we filled up our inventory like crazy, obviously, and uh, that that's an issue, but uh, we're working through it. We're working past it. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I think we're going to have to go and find a bigger one. Ooh, what's that? Huh. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, we'll take some. Yeah, this uh, seems like a really cool thing. I really like the colors in here. They're really, really fun. I think they'd be a lot of fun to build with, but um, uh, we'll, we'll take our coordinates down and maybe see about finding an even bigger one uh, to explore together. Well, they are definitely not always small because I found a ginormous one on the other side of this jungle. Uh, we walked through it and look at this, guys massive that's super cool these leafy blocks are leaf blocks are like really dense and i don't know if that's just like the natural textures i don't know if that maybe uh, in like uh, optifine it might uh, reduce that a little bit not sure i kind of like it it's nice to have a, a good mix and they're really cool uh, colored leaf blocks i don't know what they look like in other biomes um, but this biome is really interesting the, the water is a cool color Ooh, that's interesting Ooh, it's kind of murky, just like uh, the swamp biome has a different, like, hue, uh, like a different color range to it, though. Uh, I haven't seen any frogs yet. I'm pretty sure there's frogs. I don't think we're going to be able to capture any today. Ooh, that's weird. I guess they just fall off? Huh. Is that a frog? Is that a tadpole? No. It's a normal fish. What are you doing in here, fish? Uh, but yeah, this this place is sweet. I really, really like it. Uh, I don't know how easy it would be to build in here. <gasps> a frog. Hi, frog. Can we catch you? Can we catch you in a bucket? I don't know. Maybe a water bucket? Like the axolotls? Doesn't look like it. Huh. I don't know. Maybe we have to give it some food or something. I don't know. Is there bugs in Minecraft now? I'm pretty sure frogs eat bugs. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Well, we're going to keep exploring. Our goal really wasn't to get frogs today. That's probably a project for another day. Uh, we're just collecting um, enough resources that hopefully we can, like, grow these trees at our base. That would be really, really cool. Um, and we have found the wood type, by the way. So, we've seen it. We haven't made all the things out of it yet, but uh, this we're just kind of exploring. Well, we got everything, I think. We got most of the different things. Uh, there was actually like a natural fire here, uh, which kind of let me see what was going on inside these trees. I think uh, it is axes to break these root blocks or whatever they're called. Um, yeah, so we, we collected a bunch of these little... Uh, little things these little things I think that's what you use to grow the trees because I see them like uh, in the water maybe you grow them in the water that sounds right it makes sense uh, but yeah we, we've collected a bunch of blocks but I think it is time to head home uh, we've filled up our inventory two times over we've left a chest full of random bits somewhere hundreds of blocks away and we found this massive biome uh, i'm sure there's one closer to us honestly um, but we didn't want to cheat we wanted to find it naturally and we found a really big one so i would say mission successful uh, but we have to go like i don't know 15,000 blocks in one direction yeah we're 15,000 blocks away oof 
that's tough. So we're gonna head home. Okay, well, I figured out how to grow them. You grow them in water. And just like we do with every other thing, we make all the new different things you can make every update um, so we got a bunch of stuff we got leaf blocks a lot of those a lot of root blocks and quite a few stacks of this new red wood um, and we've made all the things out of it uh, yeah we've made this uh, you know uh, each different wood type thingy we can make uh, I like them a lot I really like this color uh, the the uh, actual wood block kind of reminds me a little bit of the jungle block with how different it is from the uh, outside to the inside the fence gate is absolutely beautiful um, I think that would be really really fun to build with and uh, especially break things up with uh, I think there is a lot of uses for this block it definitely definitely needed it um, yeah, Minecraft will be uh, a better game just because of this cool new block. Uh, I really, really, really like the trapdoor as well. It's circular. There's like nothing circular in Minecraft, which is super cool. Uh, but I'd be really interested to see uh, what the crimson uh, wood type looks like uh, right up against this. So, let's see, I think we got some in here somewhere. We're going to craft those up and check it out. Well, looks beautiful. And it's so much different. I was worried that it was going to be really, really similar, but I forgot kind of like the the exact color of it. Those are wildly different. The actual like blocks, the stripped wood look really, really good together, but the uh, textures kind of go opposite ways. It might be something fun to do with that. Uh, the planks look really good together. Honestly, a lot of it does. Uh, I don't know how often we're actually going to use them together, but I do have an idea for a build that would utilize both. Um, but yeah, since these were kind of like the two different red-ish colored uh, wood types, I thought it would be fun to kind of see what they look like. Uh, there's also a lot of other red blocks and things like that that we could play around with, and then some uh, other complementary blocks that might also be cool. Um, but yeah, mission accomplished, guys. We traveled really really far today and we found a lot of cool stuff got distracted classic lava craft episode uh, but you know what that's gonna do it for me today guys we got a lot of cool projects that we're thinking about now uh, with these new blocks I think we'll have lots of fun well make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed and hit that subscribe button if you're excited to see even more content from lava craft season 2 I'll see you next time bye